Right, good. You guys are doing very well. You're still awake. You're getting your exercise. Yes. So now we should go on to sound focus five. We should review our noun compounds. Now, we remember that a noun compound, a compound, right? Compound means compare, co composed of two things. So a noun compound means one noun and another noun together. And this creates a new meaning. So we want to make sure we distinguish, we make the distinction, we differentiate the two types where we have just a simple adjective and a noun. For example, a good teacher. She's a good teacher. I'm a good teacher. You're a good teacher. I like a good teacher. I hope I have a good teacher. So good teacher, usually the stress is on the noun, the second word, because it's adjective plus noun. But we have an English teacher, a math teacher, a history teacher. So do you notice that these two nouns, English and math and science, those are nouns. We put those together. And we say, la, 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 la. So I'm not an English teacher. I'm an English teacher. Now, if I say I'm an English teacher, it has a different meaning. I'm not an English teacher. I'm not from England. Remember English sometimes is an adjective? All right? I'm an American. I'm not an English teacher. I'm an English teacher, though. In that case, English is a noun, and that means it's the language. Can you hear that, the difference? All right? So if you say she's an English teacher, that means she's a teacher from England. But if you say she's an English teacher, that means she teaches English, the language. That's a noun. So that's a different stress pattern. Right, now suppose we have a board, right? And we can say it's a long board or a short board. I need a short board to put up there. I need a long board for, to, uh, to make a shelf here. All right, in that case, we have the word board and we just use some sort of adjective in front. We might have a color. You know, uh, there's a green board over there. Now, if we use the word blackboard or chalkboard or whiteboard, then it becomes a special thing, okay? And we stress high-low. So in the old days when we used slate, the old, old, old material, the original material to make blackboards, well, at our school, we don't have really blackboards. We have brown boards. But we still call them blackboards, right? Even though they're not black anymore. Some of them are green. Some of them are brown. And now we have this type, which is called a whiteboard, right? Now, a whiteboard and a whiteboard are not the same. So we say, I need a whiteboard. Then that means some probably piece of wood. And it's colored white. But this is a whiteboard. Well, we don't know what it's made of. Probably not made of wood anymore. Look at this thing. Does that look like it's made out of wood? Yeah, something, some synthetic material, some man-made fabricated stuff. And we write on it with special pens. All right, so when it becomes a special idea or concept or thing, we stress high-low, high-low. All right, so that's the pattern of a noun compound. Okay, now a baby sister means my little sister. You know, my sister who is a baby, or sometimes it means even when my sister has grown up, to me, I'm always the elder one, so I could still call her my baby brother or my baby sister, and it means kind of you're having a loving uh, way of talking about your younger sister. Or it could really mean that the sister is an in uh, infant. Now, the word babysitter, which is different, not sister, but sitter, is a person who takes care of babies, not a person who sits on babies, but sits with babies, sits with babies and takes care of them, is a babysitter. Babysitter. Okay, so how do we pronounce it? Hi, lo, lo, lo. Babysitter. 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 A babysitter is taking care of my baby sister. Okay, watch me again. A babysitter is taking care of my baby sister. Do you have a question? Yes. Uh, why some, sometimes uh, people say a babysitter and sometimes they say a honey? Okay, 
So you're looking at the vocabulary of babysitter and nanny, right? Okay, so a babysitter is a person who takes care of your children or somebody's children for a short period of time. It might be just the afternoon or just the evening or a few hours. Usually we use the word nanny for someone who stays in the person's home. Maybe I hire a nanny to live with us and she lives there all, all the whole week and she's on duty five days and then she has a weekend when she can go and play or take classes or something like that. So usually we use the word nanny for somebody who, who lives in. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, like, another like question? The first, uh, first example, mm -hmm. the good teacher and the English teacher. Mm -hmm. But we put the good, te a good English teacher uh, okay. together. Okay, right. Okay, good. That's a good question. You have a good teacher, you have a good English teacher. Okay, so you want to put those together. Here's my English teacher. She's very good. She's a good English teacher. All right, so we're going to stress still English teacher because what we think about when we say the compound noun is we want to put those two words together, and that's a whole unit. So a compound noun, even though it might be spelled with two words, is a unit. And when we think of this unit, it goes high-low or high-low-low. Now, sometimes we write the word the words separately, like English teacher. We don't put them together in English. In some languages, you write the word all together, like in German. Now all the, word, the nouns are stuck together, all the letters are put together. In English, sometimes we have two words that are separate, like math teacher and English teacher and history teacher. And sometimes we put the words together as one. For example, babysitter. That's just one word. There's no good rule for that. I'm, I have to tell you, in terms of spelling, in terms of spelling, I can't help you there because there are some that are spelled together and some that are spelled as two separate words. But the main thing to remember is the concept that these two words together are a thought unit, uh, a, a, a unit by themselves. So a babysitter is a person who does, it's not a baby though, right, you know? And it's not really a sitter, but it has a new meaning. Okay, so we have a few that we've already used in our chapters. In fact, in chapter one, what was the story called? The grasshopper and the ants. All right, remember when we had that one way back in chapter one? So we had the grasshopper. Okay, so what is a grasshopper? It's a type of insect that hops around on a grass. So on the grass, we have the word grass, we have the word hopper, but these two together combined together to signify just one particular insect, a grasshopper, right? And we say high, low, low. Not a grasshopper, but a grasshopper. grasshopper. Right, okay. We had a few other ones. Uh, for example, in our, in our story about what's for dinner, we had chicken bones. Chicken, chicken bones. Chicken bones. Chicken bones. We had chopsticks. 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 Right, and let's see. We also had some in our chapter on Liz's exercise program. We had push-ups and sit-ups. Right, okay. And, you know, here's another one that's common. Maybe sometimes you feel like this when you're getting a headache. Headache. And we can use this word or this pattern for other kinds of aches besides for your head. You have a headache. You have a, a, a neck ache, you have a back ache, you have a stomach ache, you have an ear ache, you have a toothache, right, high, low. All of those have the pattern, high and low. All right, what about in chapter four, we had the word name calling. Name calling. Name calling. Name calling. And we also had in chapter 5 about cleaning up the backyard, we had garden hose. Garden hose. Garden hose. Garden hose. Garden hose. And we also had, I think, flower boxes. Flower boxes. Flower boxes. Flower boxes. Flower boxes. Okay, and when people went on an outing, they took their fishing rod. Fishing rod. Their fishing rods, right? Fishing rod. And swimsuits. 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 Swimsuits and hiking boots, hiking boots, hiking boots. Hiking boots. Hiking boots. Fishing, gear. Fishing, gear. fishing gear, 
Now, Coco doesn't communicate with oral language. Oral language. She communicates with sign language. Sign language. And sign language is the hand language of deaf people. Right. Right. And the place where. Uh, the gorilla lives, and all the buildings associated with it are the gorilla, gorilla compound. The gorilla compound. All right. Now here's another one that I often hear people mis mispronounce, misdress, and that's the word teenager. Teenager. All right. So you have the word teen. Are you a teen? That means are you 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19? Are you a teen? Are you a teenager? So it's the second word. The second part has to be lower. So I often hear people say this with three, two, but you need to remember it's three, one. So you need to go, hi, Lolo, teenager. 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 Okay, here's another one, light bulb. Light bulb. Light bulb. Light bulb. Light bulb. We have a lot of noun compounds, and I want you to start hearing them. Remember, these are not things that you can see in writing. You have to really pay attention to listening to them. So in your office, for example, in the office, we have a lot of, of um, noun compounds. Well, even here we have blackboard and whiteboard, right? And if we go online in our computer, oh, what do we need to, what do we need to, what do we call that? That's a keyboard, right? It's a keyboard, keyboard. And when we go to the lab, what do we put on? Headphones, headphones. Or if we, uh, so headphones includes the microphone, but sometimes at home you're just listening with your earphones. Yeah, you're playing your, your iPhone or your iPad and you're listening to your headset, right? So we have headset and we have headphones, we have earphones, right? We have call me on the telephone, on the cell phone, we have a cell phone, and somebody, or your mobile phone, and what's the opposite of a mobile phone? We call it a landline, a landline. Now, in your office, maybe you have some filing cabinets, filing cabinets, like this. What is this? Cabinet, what kind? Filing cabinets. This is a filing cabinets. Okay, so what do we call this part of the desk? The desktop. This is the desktop. Desktop, and we have it on our computer. We call that a desktop, right? It's a desktop. Okay. So, what else do we have that we uh, use? Uh, how about what do we call this? What do we call this thing? Paper clip. This is a paper clip. This is a paper clip. Right. So, a paper clip is not made of paper, is it? No, but we know it's used to clip papers together. So this concept, paper clip, paper helps to describe what kind of clip. Sometimes we have another kind of clip when we put it in our hair. What do we call that? Hair clip. Right, then we call that a hair clip. So we notice high, low, high, low. So those two nouns together as one concept, then we say hair clip, high, low. Got that? All right, so those are some noun compounds. Let's see your sentences. 